<laughs> hey, everybody. Michael Rosso here. I'm here with John Fideli behind the camera. Hi, John. Hi. Today, I'm going to be talking about... Light panels. Yes. I never really gave much thought to light panels. You know, everyone in the digital world, people who shoot digital, di digital stills, digital movies, everything's about the light panel. And I didn't give two hoots about it until I started shooting Super 8 movies again. And regular 8 movies. <laughs> so I, sh I like to shoot indoors. Like, you know, uh, at when we're shooting FPP podcast, when I go visit my parents. I just like to shoot stuff. So you need a little poof. You need a little... Here, gonna... Ah. I'm putting this on John. It makes a world of difference. You need a little light. And here it is. It's it's a, a newer light panel. I don't know how many gigawatts it is. I just know it's great for Super 8 and regular 8 millimeter filmmaking. 16 millimeter filmmaking as well. And it comes with, here it is, comes in a box. You could buy this at the FPP. Now just look in movie film section or accessories. And it comes with a little, what do you call this? A little dossier? What do you call this? Little, it comes with like a little kit. So you have your light panel. Here it is. And then you could put this, diffuse it. I find myself also using this as a light table to look at, <laughs> to, no, I'm not kidding, to look at slides. I mean, this is so handy to have. And then, of course, if I'm shooting any type of tungsten film, tungsten film is indoor balanced. Indoor balanced film, like 500T, 200T, any of the T films, because this is balanced for daylight. You will want to put this in there. And now you have a tungsten balanced light. This can also be used... If you're shooting stills, and you may say, "Well, I don't understand." Let's say, <laughs> let's say, let's say you're using an old timey camera, a Pentax K1000, and I think John Fideli behind the camera will remember. Remember, when we used to shoot weddings. Oh. The still photographer, they'd have a light source on top of their camera because in some situations, when you're shooting stills, it it's so. <laughs> This little puff of light, sometimes it's so dark, you can't see your focus. Like, you just can't focus. And let's say you don't want to use a flash. If you're using a 400-speed film or a 500-speed film, 800 ISO, you may just want to just put this on your camera and just give a little, a little something. It'll make the world of difference, and it will make a world of difference to your home movies. Now, you may say, how... Now, not too many people have this camera, the awesome Agfa family. Now, this is a, you may say, what is it? Is it a scale? Is it, what is it? Is it a tape measure? <laughs> this camera has a shoe on top. So this camera, this Agfa family Super 8 camera, allows you to put the, your light right on top of your camera. So when you're shooting, you're ready to go. I mean, it's awesome. Recently, when the FPP gang was in, I was shooting with the Agfa family. Your anchovies. What extra what? Anchovies. <laughs> anchovies. <laughs> Recently, when the FPP gang was in, I was shooting with the Agfa family, and it was just so awesome to use with the cold shoe on top but if you're using a different type of camera let's say this one the gaf what have you got the gaf super 8 yeah, wonderful is it loaded yeah squeaker uh get yourself an l bracket these are easy to find we also have them in the fpp you can find these anywhere and you put simply put your camera on it whoa and then you could put your light source on the cold shoe, and now you're ready to shoot. Now you may—I know what you—I th know what you're thinking. You'd be like, 
Mike, I'm not doing it. I'm going to look ridiculous. <laughs> but your movies will look so good if you just have a light source. Make sure you take your cap off. How's this? How's this? If you're using an older camera, like I've been using, here's a classic Kodak Brownie regular 8mm camera. Came out in 1963. It's awesome. It's all manual. Manual aperture. It's amazing. This works great using the bracket and the light. If you're a little more, you know, grab-and-go kind of person, you can also do this. These cameras have no focusing. It's, it's just a fixed focus. So you could simply, you know, shoot and hold your light. You could hold your light off your, your figure. This way they're not, like, blinded. Right, John? Yeah. Good, good. good. Uh, you know, you can hold it above. But if it's Halloween, you know, you could... Listen, that's really it. That's all I really wanted to say. I just wanted to, you know, we never think of these light panels as as something that, um, you know, for, for old-timey film use. They're really handy. They're really awesome for home movies. And um, I've been showing some examples of uh, some films I've shot using the light panels. Here's a few more clips. See you next time. My name is Michael at filmphotographyproject.com if you want to drop me an email. And uh, we'll see you soon.